Today we're going to look at how we can test a cam actuator solenoid. So this is our solenoid right here. I'm going to first unplug it and we're going to test the wires and the circuits to the solenoid first. I'm going to use my forward probes. And then I'm going to connect the circuit test leads over here to my forward probes. Now I didn't look at a wiring diagram, so I don't know which wires here are my positive and negative circuits. So I'm just going to take a guess. And if I'm wrong, then I'll swap my test leads. All right. So I'm thinking I'm wrong because I get two red LEDs over here, which tells me that neither one of these circuits uh, has a positive or negative to it. So I'm just going to take a guess. I'm going to swap these and immediately I see I get my ground. And I still have a red for my circuit positive. The way that this cam actuator works is that it is given a ground all the time. And then the computer controls the cam actuator by pulsing it. So it's a pulse with modulated signal and it's going to change that signal. It's going to pulse it just like a fuel injector. So right now, obviously the vehicle is off. So the cam actuator is off and the computer isn't controlling it. That's why we get a red LED for our circuit positive. I'm going to switch this over to the voltage available mode. So I'm just going to press the button once. I still have it in load mode because we've unplugged the connector. So we want Devo to load the circuit down as a known good cam actuator. So my ground is good. I'm going to start the vehicle up and I want to see what happens to my circuit positive. I should see it pulse. Okay, I see my ground is good and my uh, positive LED is flashing. We see that going from green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red, it's kind of going back and forth. That's the computer that's controlling it and now the computer just shut it off. Either no longer wants to vary the valve timing at this point or because it realizes that there's an issue in the circuit. Um, the changes that it's trying to make, it's not changing it. The cam sensor isn't registering those changes, so it simply deactivated it. But for that brief minute when I started it up, I saw that the computer was controlling the cam actuator and that the wire was good. Okay, so with that one test, I know that my ground is good to the solenoid and that the computer is controlling the solenoid and that the wire between the computer and the solenoid is also good. So if this was a vehicle that had an issue, I would suspect that the cam solenoid um, would be defective. Now, if I want to test the cam solenoid itself, I'm going to take out my forward probes here. I'm going to forward probe the cam actuator itself. All right, now I'm going to take my positive test lead here and I'm going to connect one side to an alligator clamp and then connect this side to a known good ground. Okay, so I'm just going to connect it right there. I'm going to verify that's a good ground by plugging it into my ground LED here. I get a green LED, zero volt loss, so I know that's a good ground. Okay, so I only did that just to verify that that's a good ground. I'm going to take this test lead and I'm going to plug it into one of the forward probes that goes into the cam actuator. It doesn't matter which one, you can use either one. So I'm going to plug one into there and then I'm going to take my negative test lead, plug it back into the negative side of Devo and then connect the other side to the other forward probe. All right, this is the value that I'm looking at right here. Just like a resistance test, the lower the number, the lower the resistance. The higher the number, the higher the resistance. So I see 1.16 volts. That tells me that this cam actuator is not shorted and it's not open. It has resistance inside there. If I saw 0.00 or 0.01, that would tell me that the cam actuator was shorted. Now, if you see a really high value, that would tell you that that actuator has really high resistance or is even open. So at 1.16 volts, I know that this cam actuator has resistance to it. Now, if I want to know the exact resistance, I can just grab my phone, go to Devo.us, go to resistance calculator. And then I'm going to type in my values here. So my battery voltage is 12.46. And my circuit negative value is 1.16. And that tells you it has a calculated resistance of 7.6 ohms. We can also go up to how-to videos 
and you can go to how to test components. Uh, let's go to component table here. And variable valve timing solenoid typically is around 1.04 volts. We're at 1.16 volts, so that's really close. We're obviously within that specification value. Now, obviously, everything we tested in this was good, but this shows you the steps to go through to test both the circuits and the cam actuator solenoid.